Hey everybody, Captain here. And uh, today I'm going to answer the question, why we can't just print off more money? And this seems like a simplistic elementary question, but the truth is I found out very few people know how to answer this question, including my economics teacher back when I was in high school. And I figure if an adult who is teaching economics back in high school, despite the, uh, the severe lower quality that the public schools have, and I understand you just grabbed the history teacher and made him teach economics. Uh, but I figured if um, your um, economics teacher doesn't know how to explain this, well, it's probably a more difficult question. Now, intuitively, we all know that um, it, it's not just that if It's so simple, just print off more money. Why haven't people done it? And so that's why I'm going to explain it here. But <clears throat> beyond that, if you can understand this, you're going to become a better economist than at least all the public school teachers teaching economics, uh, which, but way more than the average person. And I'd even say most economists, because if you look at what the Federal Reserve is doing, they're essentially printing off more money. And this is something that's been going on throughout history. So let's explain. I have here 10 pieces of paper. We're going to imagine these are 10 $1 bills. And I have also here 10 Andy's Mints. Or if I have a correct one, two, four, six, eight, ten. <laughs> yes, so what we have is some money and we have some mints. Now this is our economy. All right, don't, don't, to quote Adam Carolla, don't puke all over the example, Drew. All right, just keep it very simple. This is our economy. Hang on, let me do the quotes. Economy, double quotes, all right? This is all the stuff that's produced in the world, all the Andes mints, and here's the total world's money supply. Now the amount of mints that are produced is ten. And we have, conveniently enough, $10. So the exchange rate, or the price, is $1 per Andy's Mints. And we can line them up. I'm not going to do it all the way. But you see, if we had, you know, it would be 10 Mints. $10 to the exchange rate is $1 per Mint. Now, let's say I come in. Because I, I'm Barack Obama. I'm a Roman Emperor. I'm somebody that really just cares about the people. But I am fucktacularly stupid about economics. So I just say, they just gonna print up more money. Bam. All right. Now I don't know how much is here. I think a thousand pieces of paper. I'm not sure. But I've now, let's just say, increased the money supply by a hundred times. Now everybody has a hundred times the amount of money that they have. You can see what's wrong here. And what's wrong? The number of mints has not changed. Right? And this is the, the key lesson or the main reason why you just can't print off more money. <clears throat> the only thing that matters is production. This, this right here, this is the only thing in our little small economy that matters and the only thing that has value and that's these Andy Mints. You can't eat, I mean you could eat this, I don't know why you would, but these pieces of paper have no value. They're just pieces of paper. What really matters is production. How much mints are being made. Now let's say Let's go back to our original example. I think these are 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Let's go back to our original economy where we had $10 and 10 Andes mints. Now let's say, oh, I don't know, we implement policies that make production more. Right? And we add economic growth. We add 10 more mints. Okay. Now what's happened is, hang on, I'll just... Trying to make this visually pleasing as possible. <clears throat> Good. I think we got, is that five? Five of each. <clears throat> so we've increased production now to 20 mints. The currency, or the money supply, has remained the same. 10 mints. Now, well, what happens? Well, what happens is prices have gone down. The same amount of money is in circulation, but we now have 20 mints. So what's the exchange rate? Well, if you divided 20 mints by $10, you realize that you can now get two mints for $1. And that's the whole point of economics. Uh, economics should not be focusing on just dumping a bunch of money into the economy so people think they can buy more mints because it does not increase the amount of mints or in the real world, cars, movies, uh, backpacks, everything that's made under the sun. Economics should be focused on increasing this the number of mints, the amount of production. Now I'm not going to get into what that is. We got lower taxes. I know you all hate corporations, but corporations make mints. But everyone focuses too much on the money supply. That's what that's the problem there. 
So if you really want to increase standards of living and you really want to help out the economy, the focus has to be, this is not opinion, this isn't me being an evil Republican right-wing libertarian conservative douche. This is a fact. You have to produce and focus on making more mints. That's because that's the only source of true wealth. This is just a tool. This is just how we exchange mints and how we purchase mints. Merely adding that to the economy does nothing to increase our production of mints. So hopefully we learn not just, you know, uh, uh, why we can't print off more money because it doesn't result in any additional genuine production. Uh, but you also learn things about inflation. I mean, imagine this. Let's just say there was a thousand pieces of paper here, a thousand dollars in 20 minutes. That's what... Uh, now the price has gone to $50 a mint, even though there's only 20 mints in the economy. So you've learned about inflation, and you're going to learn a lot through history. If you go throughout history, idiot, idiot morons have been trying this forever. They've always tried to do this forever. And we're trying to do it right now with the QE3 and quantitative easing, but I don't want to bore you too much with that. But anyway, that's your simple answer. That's why we can't put off more money, and hopefully we learn a little bit about what really matters in economics. It's production. Toodles!